Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part seven video on ASP.NET Core Identity Series. So in this video, we are going to do Fetter authentication. So let's implement Fetter authentication into our ASP.NET Core Identity Project. Okay. So to integrate Twitter authentication, first we need to install the required Twitter authentication package. Okay, search like Microsoft Twitter Auth NuGet, and you can find this link. Click on it. Okay, the required package is Microsoft.aspnetcore.authentication.twitter. Okay, let me copy the CLI command. And now let's open the terminal. Paste the command, install the package. Package installed successfully. Cross verify, go to CS project. And here is the package reference. Okay. Now we have to register our Razor page application with Twitter dashboard. Okay. Okay. This is the dollar dot Twitter dashboard. Click on create project and provide the project name. I will name it like dot net seven. Then click on next and select one of the use case. I will select like staging. And next give some or project description like Implementing auth in Razor page application. Okay, click on next. So here we have to choose the app environment. Okay, here I am going to use development environment. Next click and here we have to create the app name. Previously we created the project name. Okay. Now we have to add the application under the project. Okay, so I will name it like Razor page. Okay Click on next Okay, now here we are going to see some keys and tokens for our demo to use the Twitter authentication We required API key and API key secret. Okay, so let's store them in our application so go to app settings dot development dot json here let me add a twitter auth settings okay and here we have to configure api key and api secret okay and let's copy them first the api key copy next api secret okay now click on the app settings button okay here is our application under the dotnet 7 project okay now you have to set up our application routing you callback url for that in the app settings click on the setup details okay now user authentication settings page this is so under app permissions i will select just a read permission okay i just need tweet and profile information this option and you can select the request email from the user so that uh twitter will provide the user email in the client if the user registered with email okay and next type of the app since it is a web application right select this second option now here i need to provide my callback url okay okay let's prepare the callback url for twitter okay so i have to add a path like sign in twitter so this will be the callback url which is understand by our asp.net core identity okay so let's copy this url and add it here okay 
now here there are few required fields okay website url and the terms and condition so if you try to provide local url it won't accept it is throwing like invalid url because it is expecting original domain okay if you don't have a website don't worry you can create a free website either in google blogspot or wordpress okay since i have a blog which is my personal domain so i am going to use that domain okay so this is my personal domain blog domain i am going to provide it at website url and i have privacy page so i am going to provide it privacy page See, these are required fields and I don't have any terms and service, so let me add about me page. Okay. I'm dummy URL. Okay. I'm passing here. So that is the reason you can create some dummy pages either in the blogspot or WordPress. You can provide here. Okay. And click on the save button. Okay. Now user authentication settings we configured. Now let's move to our identity application okay now we have to register twitter service in program.cs file okay so add twitter okay twitter options and just like other social logins here also we have to register the secret key and secret id here so there are options dot client consumer key and consumer id okay consumer secret so these two need to be configured okay so consumer key is nothing but our twitter api key consumer secret is nothing but our twitter secret okay so let's read those two values from the JSON for that, let's copy this line of code. Okay, add it over here and change the section with Twitter auth setting property and app ID with app key, API key. Okay, and let's do for consumer secret also okay so it should be api secret okay that's it we are done with our uh, twitter integration into our application let's rerun our application okay and i am going to open my project in incognito browser because I have already logged in Twitter in my browser, normal browser. If I try to access few login steps, might automatically skip. It, okay, that is the reason I am using incognito. Or you can use any browser where you didn't log into your Twitter account already. Okay, if I click on login page, here you can see Twitter button is enabled. Now click on Twitter. See, I am redirect back to my Twitter page. And if you see here, here I, I am getting my razor page, application name, and domain, all these things. These can be customizable for the paid version, means production versions. Okay. So let me log into my account. Okay, it is redirecting. I am successfully logged in. So here also it is showing you are successfully authenticated with Twitter and please associate a email address. Okay, now I need to give some email address. You can give any email address. Okay. So let me give my email. Okay, try to register. And I am getting this Gmail is already taken. So if, if I check my database, here you can see that Gmail 
and it is registered with my Facebook authentication, right? So if you have a, another Gmail, you can use that Gmail since I don't have any more. So I'm going to delete the record from here so that I can use that Gmail address. Okay, first let's remove the child table record. This Facebook table record is associated with this user table. So first to remove the record from this table. Okay, record is, I deleted another record, fine. Okay, now the record is deleted. Now try to remove it from user's table also. Edit to top 200 records and I want to delete this email record. Now, if I try to log in, sorry, register my email, here it is showing, please check your email account for confirmation email. Okay, for that, let, first let's check our tables, whether the user record is inserted or not. Okay, see, I have this record, and if I check user login, see, I have Twitter record associated with this record, means, Twitter user is registered with my ASP.NET Core identity. Okay. Now let's confirm the email and copy the link. Okay, access it on browser. So here it can show in email is confirmed. Now let's try to log in again. Since I have already logged in with Twitter right while registering. So please close the browser. Copy the URL again and open the incognito again. Okay. Now try to log in. Twitter. Twitter login page. Okay, successfully logged in and finally I am able to log in with Twitter into my account. So that means we are successfully integrated the Twitter authentication into our ASP.NET Core identity application. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video delivered some useful content to you all. If you like the video, please do support me by subscribing to channel. Soon we are going to meet with new content. Until then, signing off.